When Coco was found on a pile of garbage in Amritsar, India, he could never have guessed his life would be turned around by P.I. Cook in Montague, Rafat Ishak. Coco was the only puppy that survived in his litter and was saved by Positive Sanctuary, an Indian dog shelter run by Toronto-based founder and CEO Amita Seth. I remember my rescue manager, Ashi, she brought, she said, ma'am, I'm bringing him, like, he's, he has parvo. So he, she brought uh, Coco and then with treatment, timely treatment, everything, he got better. And um, when we, when uh, uh, Rifad reached out to me and uh, he said he wants to adopt one dog from my shelter. And I said, oh, wow, that's, that's great. And uh, let me send you some pictures. And then when I sent a picture of uh, Coco, uh, he fell in love. He just fell in love. And because I grew up, um, I'm from a country where we have tons of street dogs. I always wanted to adopt one uh, back home, but it's not socially acceptable everywhere to have dogs as pets. So when I was finally able to be in a position to adopt a dog, I wanted to. I wanted my first dog to be a pariah dog, which is kind of like a bit of a, a symbol for me. India Pariah Dog is one of the oldest and most common Aboriginal dog breeds in India and other countries. In Amritsar, there are around 50,000 street dogs alone. Positive Sanctuary gives priority to the injured dogs and helps find them a local feeder. We get 80 to 100 calls on our helpline every day. And then based on uh, priority, like based on what is urgent, uh, we decide that, you know, our nurses are going to go in that direction today. Another PI resident, Cassandra Moriarty, has also adopted a dog from the shelter after learning about the opportunity. I have the mentality that um, you should always adopt animals that need homes. And I feel like animals here in PEI, they, like, it's going to be easy for them to find homes. Like the Humane Society sells out of dogs very fast. Um, but like dogs from India, they might not have the best opportunity or better options like to be adopted. So I saw the opportunity and I'm like, oh my gosh, I can do this. That's so cool. So I want to do it. Sanja now is a happy dog that lives in Charlottetown with his PEI friend Blue. Yeah, just like very shy, wasn't really playful at the beginning, just like so startled. But after I think five months, he like learned how to play. We went on like, like he was better walking out in public, not as afraid of meeting other dogs. Um, and started to like, you started to see his personality. Positive Sanctuary prefers local adoptions, but if someone abroad wants to adopt, they will make sure to find a way to connect the dog and the adopter. All it really took was a phone call and a conversation with uh, Amita Se, who is the founder of the sanctuary. And um, all, this, all the processes that um, had to happen for me to get this dog out in Canada was taken care of by positive sanctuary. I literally had nothing complicated except to just help them financially to pay for all the bills necessary. Moriarty believes more people should consider adopting dogs from away. Like I never knew that it was possible to adopt a dog from away, um, so it kind of opened my eyes to being able to do that. Um, it also gave me more perspective on like thinking about animals in need and that it is valuable to look like outside your own home when you have animal ethics and like welfare in mind. Grace Biswas for Saltwire.